In this lesson, we are going to learn about some of event handlers. First, we will check ng change. I am going to use ng change in this select box. My task is when this select change, I need to out which item is selected. I'll use a function called change item and I'm going to pass this model into that function and we will go to the controller and write a function this dot change item is a function I need to capture that return data. I'll capture as value and I'm going to output as alert value and we will run this one and see. In the index.html for the model selector, I have written the ng change function. When this any change happen to this select, I need to output which one is selected. We will change one and see. Yes, you can see 6s is selected and alert says 6s. And we will select 6s plus. Yes, and let's say 6s plus. Now you see the ng change behavior. Then I'm going to use ng key up. We will use that into the name text box. ng key up. I need to run a function when key up one one dot key up function and the same thing I need to do when key up I need to out that value in that text box and I'll go to the controller and I'll write this dot up function a function I need to capture the return value value and I'm going to output using alert and we will run this one and see how ng key up is work Yes, you can see I have added S into the the name text box. The key up is work. Output as S. We will add another character S H. You can see the current the text box is out. Now you see the behavior of ng key up. Now we see the ng checked. For that, I'll add input type checkbox. And I'll name it as checked me. And I'll add model for this checkbox. Check model and I'll add the function ng checked and when ng checked I'm going to fire function con one dot checked me and I'm going to pass the value of this model check model 
then I'm going to the controller this dot check me equal function I'm going to use return value and I'm going to alert it okay we will run the application and see how ng checked is working yeah it runs and when it creates when ng when the checkbox is created this ng checked it fired as undefined again it fires as undefined then we will click on this checkbox and it out as true because it clicked it output as true we will click it again now it's unchecked and now it's out as false now you can see how ng checked is working